guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> my name is Kimberly Samugana, and today I will be teaching you the difference between using buffer and using hot suit. I'll be showing you how to use these tools for sharing your social media content and basically the difference between using the both of them. I recently did a video distinguishing hot suit buffer against Facebook Creator Studio. You can check that video out in the link above. Well, while you're still here, let's get down to it. So let's get started with Buffer. If you don't have an account with Buffer already, what you want to do first is click on Get Started. So let's do that. Now there are different plans here that you could subscribe to. Um, we have we have the free the premium we have the pro we have the premium and we have the business these all have monthly monthly charges but let me assume that um you want to go for the freemium and if you're going for the freemium it means you are not a social you don't want to become a social media manager or you don't want to become a social uh me media um handler because if you're going to be that, it means that you'll be handling lots more um, social channels than just Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter for one brand. So I'm, I'm going to speak um, on you maybe being a solopreneur, you're just handling one brand or one business. So let's assume that you're going for the freemium, which is this free package. You have zero, you're not going to be charged for anything, right? And you have three scheduled, 10 scheduled posts in a month. So you have 10 scheduled posts for the freemium. Now, let me explain what that means. It means that in at a time, you can only schedule 10 posts. So you're, for example, I want to schedule posts today. It means I want to schedule one Facebook, one Instagram, one twitter because i only have access don't forget to only three social social channels so that's for today tomorrow i can only do one facebook one instagram one twitter that's already six and then another maybe um wednesday i'm doing one instagram one facebook one twitter that's nine and then the last one maybe will be that facebook or instagram or twitter so it means that for every every time you have to schedule post every four days or every three days because of the limitation the freemium package for buffer has right um so you can see that you have the social channels you can pick from is instagram facebook twitter or linkedin you cannot use pin interest if you're using the freemium um you can't also have calendar view or custom video thumbnails for these things now um like i already said in my other video which you can see on the top on the top uh, right corner of your screen um i did a video telling you the pitfalls of using buffer i'm just going to reiterate it here um if you're uploading videos on your freemium account um using buffer it sort of shrinks your video it makes it um compressed which doesn't give it a good look which is the reason why um i did the video i did last week so you may probably want to check it out okay so i have explained what this is um this is analytics for buffer and uh you can only get you only get the analytics if you're subscribed to the premium or the pro package so if you're a premium user you will not have access to this all right so let's head straight into using this tool called buffer one eternity later all right so one of the very nice features i love about buffer is the fact that they help you highlight sort of highlights the the time of the day that customers are probably or your your let me, let me not say customers but 
when people are mostly active online right so their their analysis over time have shown that on on so this today is friday that on friday sorry today today is thursday right um tomorrow is friday the analysis has showed that people are online by 8 a.m on fridays 11 and 5 p.m and then you know they have all of these um different time slots during the day that they feel people are online and they help you pick those specific time for you to post which i think is fantastic you can also see your past reminders uh so these are videos that i have put in my draft uh or i have asked i have asked um google to remind them um, i mean i've asked sorry buffer to remind me in the past that you know um i didn't press that notification button like i said i sh i spoke about the pitfall of using buffer in my other video i think you should check it out um where it is it is titled buffer versus hot suits versus facebook content creator all right so you want to check that out and know the reason why you have past reminders here analytics like i told you is not um i don't have access to it because i'm using a freemium a freemium package so this is only open to pro and premium users now there are two ways you could you could actually schedule your post on buffer you can schedule a post by just clicking any of these timestamps and putting something here whatever you want to put in and you know have your picture here right um the only thing with this is that you would have to do this one by one for twitter facebook and instagram if you want to go this route which i think is just uh cumbersome right i think if you want to make this very quick for you you should do this now if you click on this you have the option of picking where you want this post to go to so i want to pick instagram facebook and twitter and you can simply do that by just putting your mouse or your cursor um on each of the icon and clicking on them for that for them to come up so let's say how to how to use buffer buffer in in 2020 right you add an image uh let's see what should i use what should i use what should i use uh download all right let's use that right now this can just go out without any further uh and you can add two I think you can add two uh yes you can add two and you can customize this for each social channel now you know twitter has word limitation right so your what your caption can be lengthy for facebook and instagram but it can't be for Twitter. So this feature allows you to shorten your caption for Twitter and sort of customize it to fit, you know, the the, the necessary um, content uh, letter or content number of each channel. After you've done this, you should click on this drop down and you can decide to share immediately or you could decide to schedule the post. Let me assume that we're scheduling the post. Uh, I can schedule it for tomorrow at a particular time, 5, no, um, let's say 8 a.m. and 10, 8 o'clock and yeah, right? And I can schedule, I can click on schedule and then it goes, uh, okay, let me just do that. I'll delete it later. So schedule this, scheduling and voila, you can see tomorrow I have I have one count on each of them, right? I have one count on each of them. If I do another, uh, let's do another one. So, 
subscribe to my YouTube channel. Right? And then I have. Okay. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Yeah, let's try this guy. Right? Okay, so you want to do subscribe to my channel. The same thing will show here, and the same thing will show here. Now you can see when I clicked on this, you can see due to Instagram limitation, we can't post images directly to Instagram with aspect ratios outside, blah blah blah. You receive a reminder to post manually when the time comes. Now, this is one of the glitch. This is one of the reasons why I do not, I stopped using Buffer for my social media management because I can't be going to my phone to click on post when Buffer sends me this notification. So yeah, this is one of the reasons why I stopped using Buffer. But anyways, I'll just go on with the scheduling, right? Okay. Um, Let's move this to 5 p.m. because that's what uh, Buffer says people be online for. Okay, 9 p.m. 5 p.m. Okay. 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 Now you can see you can see the counts has gone up again. So that shows me the number of posts. If this posts, if the number here are not equal, it means that you forgot to click on one of the social icons so you you may want to always check that you know this all have the same number except you intentionally you know did that all right so uh i think that is that for um that oh i, I forgot something so if you're setting this up for the first time you would have to link this um, buffer to your social media handles so you'll be asked for example to um you know log into your account using buffer so you have to provide your username and passwords i have done this already for my social media pages that is why i didn't have to go through that but i'll just show you the back end of this so this is where you fill in. you can connect new channel but you know i mean i'm using the freemium so they won't be here you can see it i've hit you've hit your plan limit of three connected channels yeah, so I only have access to three and that three is Instagram, Facebook and Twitter um, and LinkedIn for actually. So uh, this is where you connect. You just click on connect and then you can connect your uh, accounts to Buffer so you can manage them from here. Okay, so um, I hope I have touched everything here. I just want to be sure that I've touched everything here before I leave. Okay. I think I have. So let's move on to uh, let's move on to hot suits. Guys, I am so sorry. I have been pronouncing this wrongly. It is actually pronounced as hot sweets. I made a lot of this mistake throughout the course of this video. So please forgive me in advance. It's pronounced hot sweets. So let's compare plants. Um, you have a uh, professional, you have team, you have business and you have enterprise professional. You have $19 um, dollar per month. I mean, you can see all of that. And then the freemium, um, the freemium just uh, can see. Yeah, so try our limited free plan. You only have access to two social accounts and five scheduled, um, five scheduled messages per user. So you can see all of that. You can see, so if you want a free plan, you need to go to this part of the, the landing page and click on sign up now, right? So I already have an account with them. I joined them a long, long time ago. So, my plan is sort of different right so you want to sign in yeah superwoman okay let's just continue while we wait for this to completely load now you can see my now this took a lot of you know i did some settings to have 
this on my dashboard uh i don't know how i'm going to go through this but uh we'll see what we can do right so i mean i designed it to have this showing on my screen this dashboard shows me you know my current posts on my page it shows me my scheduled post for instagram it shows me my page on facebook and it shows me my scheduled page on facebook and you can always move this element around right so you can have them back to back and then this shows me my twitter page um you just i didn't add the scheduled twitter page twitter um post so you can do this by simply just adding string right um so what do you want to add to your stream um do you want to add the home page you want to add mentions you want to like you want to add tweets likes retweets so let's say mentions right you see mentions have been added to my dashboard you see right this wasn't here before if you noticed i just added it and i can remove it right i can delete stream right you can add you can add, you can even add your linkedin if you have you can link your linkedin profile here and add it and you'll be seeing it on your dashboard when you come you can add your youtube channel um so already i already i only have my facebook twitter and instagram added to this hot suit um application um yeah let's so let's add let's add unpublished to our stream right so you can see unpublished just came up here so you can always design you can always design your stream to look however you want it to look what i mean by stream is these very things that you see when you land on your hot suits page right uh so you can add social media handles here right um like i said i only have okay let's try to even add more like i said i have just facebook twitter and instagram so let's let me assume i want to add linkedin and let's see what happens okay so you'll be asked to log into your linkedin accounts blah 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 all right so i guess that is very simple to do so if you want to add any of the social media handles just go on here and add add social media network and that would be sorted out all right so let's check out these elements here this is where you upgrade your plan from you know right now i'm using the freemium you can upgrade to the paid plan uh this is where you create your content posts a pinterest um instagram story oh that's good that's a new feature although it's the upgraded version so maybe that's a pro feature um this wasn't here before so i guess this is an updated feature this is your publisher so basically what publisher does is it shows you all the posts that you scheduled for the month you just see it in a calendar form which i think is really great so it just it just gives you that very organized um feel that your posts have been scheduled you know which days what time you see i, I really love the interface you have the days here you have the the hours here right so when you schedule those posts, they will all arrange themselves in the different hour of the day that you schedule them for. Now, what content is, is where you can see your draft. So if, for example, you've written some posts, you know, I told you that Hot Suits has the invitation. Let's say you've written some posts. You can see all my drafts that I've written in the past that I did not, I did not uh, shed. I didn't publish at the end of the day, maybe because of one issue or the other. Uh, maybe they wanted me to push notification um, or something so I couldn't post it but this is how, like all my drafts published you will see all the posts that you published in the past uh, sorry did I say published scheduled you if if we schedule any post now if we come back here you will see all the scheduled posts here uh, um requires approval i don't have any like that past schedule you can you can just toggle uh, okay i don't want to post now so come down 
you can just toggle to the last time I used the last time I used the uh, last time I used hot suit right so yeah you can see it right you can see it um, these are all my posts I did in the month of February you can see it using hot suits right um, yeah so we have required approval we have expired approvals and then rejected so this is like the the if you want to promote it post using hot suits this is where you do that uh, you can boost you can boost a post um, do like a Facebook ad using um, using uh, hot suits but I've never done that I don't see why I should do that uh, I would rather just use my Facebook ad account to do that but if you want to you know save yourself all the stress of going back to Facebook um, I guess also doesn't want you to enter into your Facebook account that's why they have this feature here but yeah you can boost boost your boost your social media post right from hot suits right okay so let's move on remember i clicked on on planner that was what took us to all of that i've explained all of this the next thing here is assignments right uh so if you are using the pro plan or the business plan you would have assignments maybe you have a team of two other people that are working with you or maybe you're mentoring your social media manager or handler you're mentoring one or two persons this is where you can assign uh like uh, major assignments to them to do for the week or for the month analytics is where you see the whole story behind uh what is it what's the data saying so how many people are engaged in your post? How many people liked your post? How many people commented in your post? How many people, what time were they active? Were they most active? Um, what mobile device? But what device are they using? Are they using a mobile phone? Are they using their laptops? Um, are they male or female? All of those information uh, will be available if you subscribe to the pro plan or the uh, business plan, right? So I'm not doing all of that because I already have Google, Google Analytics and I have Facebook Analytics. You're gonna have Twitter Analytics, so I don't really need the the, the analytics of hot suits, right? Okay, so let's get down to the business and the cocoa of today. Yeah, we are here in the creation stage. So, like I told you, I already have my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter connected to my hot suits. All I need to do is tick on all of these pages where i want my post to go to what's going on hey all right so i have all of them here um i can add my location you can add location here um, you can promote your, if you want to boost this post in the future you can just tick here and then when you schedule the post and it goes out it will automatically be promoted so let's go on to adding our caption uh, why have you not subscribed to my channel right so you can now add your photos let's add some photos right so if your if the image you're uploading on hot suit is too big there is this place where you can edit that picture to fit the requirements of hot suits now this is one of the pitfalls if you are uploading this picture using the facebook creator studio you won't have to decrease any you won't have to decrease any image whatsoever 
because you are uploading directly to Facebook. But if, for example, there was a problem with this picture, um, Hotsuit would tell you, and then you can edit this picture by just, you know, maybe reducing it and then trying try to save it again, um, so that it fits with their requirements. Uh, if the picture is too big, you'll be notified. So we are not getting any error message, but I just wanted to show you. Okay. Only the first image, uh -huh, this is another pitfall of using hot suits. Only the first image or video will be published to Instagram when direct publishing is selected. Right? So this is another pitfall of, of using hot suit for Instagram. Right? It, it won't affect Facebook, but Instagram, the, it should be scaled. If you are, so hot suit will scale first scale and compress your video if you are putting a video it will never even go so if you check my draft there are a lot of videos there because hot suit never posted them right another thing right now is the fact that you can only upload one picture to instagram if you are using the hot suit premium that's a that's a no-no for me I, that was why i stopped i was so happy when i found the facebook creator studio so you need to check that video out you need to go and um, go to my old video and check how that works all right um so yeah um when you're done uh when you're done if you have multiple facebook uh pages attached you may want to select maybe you'll be asked here to select which of the pages you want it to go and then you'll be asked you'll be asked to you can choose where the photo goes do you want it to go to your timeline photos or do you have like selected albums where you want specific pictures to go to so you can do all of that here so let's schedule for later you can you know yeah so one of the things i like i mentioned in, in the earlier part of this video that i love about buffer is the fact that they help you pick the specific time they think people will be online so that comes free of charge for buffer but for hot switch you have to be on the page plan so that's that feature is what you have here get auto shadow you know it's free for buffer but it's paid for hot suits right i don't need that service because like i said i have my google Anal google analytic and i have my facebook analytics which basically tells me when people are online and not online so i don't really need that right uh so yeah let's share this post right I hope I don't forget to delete this post before they will not go out tomorrow and I'm like, oh, what? All right, so let's do this. Done. So you click on shadow, right? Remember, it's giving us the same error message. Only one picture of video will be published to Instagram, right? So to publish all media attachments in one post, select keep editing and and then select publish via mobile notification guys go and watch my old video that's the only way you will understand this all right i'm not going to repeat myself just go and watch it okay all right so let's click on post only first assets okay so you remember we went on publisher that was where we saw uh shadow posts right so this is planner this is tomorrow right you can see it you can see your post you can see your post right then you can always go to content and then go to scheduled here you can see what you scheduled right you can see it all here so we are done for today oh, i hope i've been able to convince you and not confuse you of the difference between buffer and hot suits and how to use them thank you for staying through with the video if you did like this video do not forget to give me a thumbs up that is by clicking on that right on that like button <laughs> this thing is hard <laughs> And do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can see my updates whenever I upload a new video on tech, finance, or lifestyle. Till I see you again. Take care and bye.